Well, so, after I uploaded the Lewis Flockton exposed video, I think a couple of hours after I uploaded the video, Jordan Fixon on Twitter uh, posted more evidence of what Lewis Flockton did. So before we get started, I want to give a huge shout out and all the credits goes to Jordan Fixon for exposing another pedophile in the racing community. All credit goes to him. All credit goes to him. I'm just, I'm just making a video to expose another creep because I can't stand pedophiles. They, everybody knows I'm against pedophiles. I think everybody, and that's common sense to be against pedophiles. If you're not, fuck you. So with that being said, what do we got here? So this is what Jordan Fiction has said. He said, I wasn't going to post about this, but I've seen it going around Instagram a lot. So I figured I'd just put everything from there over here. Unfortunately, it's about another member of the NASCAR community that sent creepy messages to underage people. And then another tweet, he said, this time it's Lewis Flockton, a YouTuber with 20,000 subscribers. He had 21,000 subscribers before he got exposed. So the numbers are going down. Yeah. Wanker. Anyway, a YouTuber with 20k subscribers that made compilation videos. He's also gay. Once again, like I said in the other video, I respect homosexualities. But if a homosexual is a pedophile, fuck you. And has allegedly sent creepy messages to underage guys. Here's the screenshots I found. So far, like, there's like a few. And I believe... Some more people are coming up to Jordan about it. And for the ones that are coming up to Jordan and exposing Lewis, you guys are brave. It's very hard to deal with like what a pedophile has done to you online in person or online. It's really tough. And my thoughts and prayers go out to you guys. You guys deserve better. I hope you guys are okay. With that being said, let's begin. I'm not sure who was this from, but this was from a Snapchat screenshot. Oh wait, this is from Jordan and a conversation with someone else. I think. Let me see. Let me see what I can do here. It says, because he did the same shit to me for almost two years when I was still a minor. He convinced me to send some nudes when I first met. Okay, so it's a victim going to Jordan about this. He convinced me to send some nudes when I first met him. He acted all nice and caring. Then later on with time, when I started to refuse sending nudes, he would blackmail me. The fact that Lewis would blackmail someone because he didn't, he didn't want nudes to a minor, that's disgusting. It got to the point where he made me do something so uncomfortable that I was not ready for at all. And we stopped talking after that. Eventually, he unadded me, but I still can be, but I still can see the safe chats from then. And then someone else reported to Jordan saying, hi, I want to be anonymous about this. But I have another big YouTuber in the NASCAR community relating to the Joseph Lumber situation. Lewis Flockton. Lewis lives in the UK and is well above 18. I want to say 23 or 24. I believe. I thought he was 18 or 19 or 20 by now. I didn't know he was older than that. I knew he was not a minor. Anyway. And then the victim continues to say, I myself am just a 17 year old boy. Lewis had continuously asked me for shirtless pics on Snapchat and even asked if I wanted to send him explicit photos of myself. Obviously, if you post something about this, I would not want exact details because I'm sure he would easily pinpoint it to me. But I figured I'd come to you since you exposed Lombard. <sighs> Honestly, going through this, I feel more... I feel more down about it than the Lombard thing. I mean, this whole situation, it's really saddening. Because nobody deserves this kind of stuff. 
So here, you can tell how I'm actually being serious about this. I know there were some parts about the lumbar thing that I was serious about it, but then other times, I, I don't know, I didn't handle it well. I just want to be more serious about this. So, yeah. I think this is where the part gets worse. Okay. Well, maybe not yet, but... I mean, of course everything about this situation is bad, regardless. So, what did he say right here? He says, uh, I don't know what happened here. He says, you had, you had a good one, pal. The victim says, thank you. And then Louis says, you're welcome, mate. To be honest, you're really decent, too. You, ha you have a good account just putting it out there. And then the victim said, thanks. I just need to start posting more. Hello. Louis said, yeah, I agree. Haha. -ha. TBH, I also thought you were a little older than 16. Aha. Yep, another red flag there, guys. And then the victim said, nah, hello, only entering my junior year. And then Lewis said, damn, well, you act very mature, then. I have to say, look older than you are. Ha. Oh, yeah, that's, that's very, very sus. And I think the victim said, this is the only photo of him showing that side of him on Instagram. Obviously, I wouldn't want to screenshot what I have to say on Snapchat. I wanted to come out about this sooner, but I wanted to try and collect as much evidence as I could throughout chats. And then this is where it gets worse. Louis Flockton was acting someone. Are you cut or uncut? Now this right here. It's personally the worst thing I've seen so far. That is disgusting to ask a minor if their penis is circumcised or not. Disgusting. I don't have any, any sympathy for Louis Flockton. I never did after I exposed him. No way, Jose. You British fuck. Alright. And then... Lewis continues saying, ha ha, yeah, same here, mate. I got no luck whatsoever. Have been, haven't been, seen you in a long time, but seen you in iRacing memes things, and you're cute as hell, not gonna lie. Yep, red flag. And then Lewis continues, he says, hell yeah, shitty, shitty times right now, just stupid. How's the love life going, if you're still gay? Number one, Lewis. Fuck you, honestly. You disgusting pedophile. Number two, you can't even say you're right. You know, instead of being fucking horny to minors, why don't you go back to school and learn the difference about your and your in a sentence, you creep, uneducated, creepy-ass wanker. And then we got more from Lewis. By the way, I think this is from someone else. I don't know. Yeah. Anyway. Lewis was asking someone, yeah, but do you like dick, though? The victim says, no. Th Lewis said, really? So if I sent you a few pics, you wouldn't be interested? Oh. Oh, my God. If this is not bad enough, then I don't know what is. Oh, my God. Dude. Ugh. If he's straight, why don't you leave him alone? But because Lewis was horny for minors, of course he's not going to do that. Of course he's not going to do that. He's just going to keep going, keep going, keep going. Because that British fucky ass winker is a horny little piece of shit for kids. It's fucked up. It's fucked up. I'm getting actually aggravated about this. <sighs> okay. And then even the victim knows this is a terrible situation for Lewis. He's like, don't do that, please. He knows. Like, the victim, of course, he's being smart about this. Thank you. But, oh, but good old Lewis, he's like, I'm not. I just, I'm just wondering, huh? And then after the victim, he's like, I'm not interested. Okay, sorry. And then Lewis said, shame to be honest, cause, because I think you're pretty good, not gonna lie. Uh, pretty good looking, not gonna lie. And then after that, the victim 
was weirded out saying, um, okay, I don't blame you, dude. That's very uncomfortable. I don't know why Lewis would just do that to you. Normally, I would say, like, oh, hey, Lewis would, should know better. No, no, no sympathy for him. No way. And then I think this is, yeah, it's the last one. And then someone said this. If you don't mind, I'd like to keep this anonymous. Lewis messaged me back when I was about 13, 14 years old. Okay, so this is the Lu- this is the youngest Lewis I talked to. I thought it was 15. But no, he goes younger. He goes younger. Of course he does. When I was about 13, 14, back around 2017, 2018, he wasn't nearly as forward as he was with K. L F and R H. Not sure those signatures. I don't know. But he sent pretty creepy messages to me back then. I don't have any screenshots, but I I just like to point out this point this out that this is this is not a recent thing from just this year. So I think I mentioned this from the first part that um I don't know if I mentioned that at all, but just in case, I'll say it again. Apparently, from what I heard, Lewis Flockton has been going after minors, underage males, for about a year or two. So, what's very saddening about exposing pedophiles was that we don't know who that content creator was. You know, just like the, just like the Jason Jacoby thing, when he was not only talking to minors... But was abusing his girlfriend. Also, child neglect with his son. Nobody knew until Mackenzie finally exposed him. I don't get me wrong. I'm glad we all, we're all exposing bad people that, that give the racing community and the sport a bad look and a bad reputation. What's saddening is that we all wish that this action stopped. That's what makes me sad, is that some people are dealing with this kind of abuse and also this torture for God knows how long. And we don't know it until someone exposes it. That's sad. That's what makes me sad. It's horrible. For all the victims out there who dealt with Lewis for a year or two, I am so sorry. You do not deserve that kind of mess. You guys deserve better. Lewis, no, I have no sympathy for Lewis. I'm sure he's only deleting his Instagram, making his Twitter private, and probably turning off his YouTube comment sections because he got caught. There's no way he's got remorse. He's only feeling bad because he got caught, little bastard-ass wanker. I really hope that's not a slur. Like, people say wanker and all that. So, I don't... I, I'm just aggravated, okay? Don't cancel me. I'm not the one talking to minors. <sighs> At this point, the NASCAR community is just... I'm starting to lose hope for the NASCAR community because of these kind of actions. And just let you guys know, I'm a motorsports content creator. I'm part of the motorsports community in general. You know, motorsports in general. I don't just do NASCAR stuff. Just want to put it out there. I feel horrible for the NASCAR community who had to see that. I feel horrible for the victims. I've been friends with Lewis for like, I don't know, like a couple of years. I don't know how long, like, we talk here and there. We used to talk here and there. We support each other's content. But, as of today, and for the rest of my life, I will no longer be supporting Lewis Flockton. Lewis, my trust for you is gone. May you burn in hell. Fuck you. And, again, for, for the ones who are defending Lewis... And who would defend pedophiles in general? Fuck you too. You know better. Mm. 
like, does nobody learn anything? Did nobody learn anything from the Jason Jacoby and Joseph Lombard situation? At this point, at this point, everybody is concerned about the community. At this point, everybody's like, who's next? Who's next? Which next, con which content creator did something bad? At this point, I don't know. I'm literally speechless about this. Now everybody's just wondering, oh, who's the next person's gonna expose, gonna get exposed for anything? Because now we got like three content creators getting exposed because of what they've done. Now a lot of people are wondering who the hell's next? Who's gonna get exposed next? For for God's sakes, I really hope there's no more big content creators getting exposed by whatever they did. I can't handle more. I can't. Pedophilia is terrible. Like, why can't there be laws that that are stricter for pedophiles? I'm sure, I don't know, this may sound dumb, but I'm pretty sure like it could like make pedophilia like decrease or whatever. I don't know. I don't know, this is a terrible time for this shit. This goes, shit like this goes to show you really don't know who that person is until they get caught with something. We did, we did not know who, who Lewis truly was until he got exposed. Hang on, Charlie. So, I don't know what to do. I'm just speechless. I got no words to say. I'm aggravated. I'm pissed that I've got more pedophiles in the racing community, NASCAR community. The shit needs to win. For real. So that's gonna do for this video once again. Thank you all so much for watching. Thank you guys for the support. Big shout out once again to Jordan Fixton for exposing Lewis. And thank you to the victims who are coming out to make their voices heard and exposing another pedophile. All credit goes to those people. I, I just do videos about it. All credit goes to Jordan for the work and the victims who come out. This is just depressing. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you all for supporting you Nation. I really hope the victims are, are okay. I really hope there's no more bad people in the racing community. Thank you guys for watching. See you guys next video. Goodbye, everybody.